There's a little bit of smoke coming up here. You know why? You know we why? got meat in a cast iron skillet. Here's the deal. Next Saturday, more than 20 Twin Cities restaurants will duke it out at the Twin Cities Burger Battle on Harriet Island in St. Paul. The 21 plus event gets guests unlimited food and beverages. Schedule your rides to and fro Hello. accordingly, uh, including beer from Summit and Fulton. We want to make sure you know about this annual event before it sells out. So, thanks to our sponsor, the Minnesota Beef Council, we have two restaurants here That's sharing cool. their burgers that they're going to be serving. They're already getting flipped. Yeah, we got. Uh, we're going to start with the co-owner and chef from Mercy in downtown Minneapolis, Mike Rake. It is back on Twin Cities Live. Hi, Bud. Nice to have you here. What Thanks. is happening in this pan, sir? Well, I've got our uh, shroomy, juicy Lucy going on here. Oh, tell us more. Shroomy, shroomy juicy Lucy. Juicy. Yeah. So I've got a 100% uh, prime Nyman Ranch beef that we grind in house. We have sirloin, chalk, brisket. And then what we've done is we've taken 30% and added mushrooms. So, oh, wow. so it's 70% beef, 30% mushrooms. Fun little thing, and then we stuffed it with brie cheese. Oh, I love this idea. Think of mushrooms. Uh, this might seem like an elementary question, but do you, are you chopping those up finely to work them into the mixture? Or are you kind of just. Yeah, I'd say they're like a small dice. And then okay. we work them in with little garlic, shallots, fresh thyme. Yeah. And then we stick a little nugget of brie in the middle. Okay, talk to us <laughs> about doing this in your cast iron because I, I saw you stick a pretty significant knob of butter in that pan, <laughs> sir. There is frankly, a, I was thinking, I like this guy's style. Yeah, there's a fair amount of butter in there, yes. Um, I think the key to a great burger is not flip it a bunch of times. And sometimes you see amateurs on the grill and they're flipping yeah, they flip and flipping. Flip they smash, flip, flip, flip smash. Yeah, just flip, let, smash. It, let it do its thing. Let the juices come up. As you can see, they're starting to come up. The yeah. cheese is starting to goo. Oh. Um, but the butter helps with the caramelization of the meat, it makes it quite delicious. This is holding its shape so well. Because, like, yeah. look, you can see the raw patty. And then sometimes I feel like when I have a burger, it gets all wonky or it shrinks up weird. So, what's the trick there? What's going on? Well, you just, you know, you got to patty it right. You know, yeah. you, you treat it with care. Oh. You know, tender. You have to be tender. You have to be tender. Okay. You know? uh, that's the key word. <laughs> I would like to talk to you about fat content in beef. Uh, oh. What do you go for? Because I know you're always thinking about you want it to taste. Great. How high a fat? I'd say like 80, 20, 85, 15 in there. You know, in that in that range. Don't get cute and go into the 90s. They sell that 93, 7. That's still junk. pretty good. I mean, you know, ground bison's good. That's 90. Yeah, uh, but you have multiple the cuts in there. That's yeah. a really interesting thing. Yeah, I think it, it you know really adds to the beefiness and the chew of the meat. You say salt and pepper. That's the way to go. Don't muck it up with some sort of seasoning salt. Yeah, I mean, I think the key is get really great ground beef. Yeah. And so that's what we focus right. on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what else did now. you top this with? And you tell us while we eat. This so is we. A Great arrangement. So we it's springtime in Minnesota, so we have uh, uh, ramp mustard. Everybody knows what ramps are, right? Yeah. Mm. So a local wild, wild onion. onions. So oh, smoked ramp mustard. We got a little bit of pickled ramps and then some arugula. Come on, man. Well, all right. That's a great burger. I don't make burgers doesn't, like that. Doesn't suck, right? <laughs> that oh my great. gosh, that brie in there is like so smooth and subtle and mm. delicious, and it's got like the perfect smoky oh. flavor. Man, that is a good burger. Mike, you always make great thanks. food. Thanks. You've got great stuff. He's at Mercy. All right. All right, Mike. We're going to send you on your way. All right. uh, we're going to bring you. in now uh, Chef Noe Lara from Boulevard, Hi. and he's making a little something different for us. Ah, nice to see you, sir. Okay, now we're going to build your burger yes, uh, that you've created. Tell us what's going on here. So are you guys going to help me to build um, uh, Boulevard Royal. Oh, we're yeah. stacking two here. We're stacking yeah. two. So we're going to start with the pickles. The pickles, okay. okay. Yes. Now, what kind of bun are we working with oh, here? Oh, pretzel bun. From oh, Brett's I made. love it. That's an unfair advantage right from the beginning. Yeah. That's really good. Okay, right. so what do you think? Right on here, yeah. you want a couple uh, pickles? I'm going to cross that. Oh, yeah. oh, cross. oh, there's a real specific oh, yeah. part to how oh, yeah. this goes on. And then you stack one uh, patty on top. Okay, stack one patty. Yeah. Now, talk to us about these patties because you're so going with. 80-20, yeah. Yeah, and this is like, I, I do love these like flat. Yeah, patties it like cooks this. faster, uh, three minutes each side. So okay, it what's goes, it what's goes the cheese, sir? American uh, white cheese. American. Yep. If you have your choice between uh, uh, cooking a burger on cast iron or out on the grill, what do you choose? Um, I like cast iron. You cast like cast iron. Everybody loves yeah. the cast iron. Well, chefs love it. Okay, and then so yeah. we're double pattying here, yeah. right? Both and patties is on. Is this just some caramelized, caramelized onions? Caramelized onions, yes. Oh, Which is such an easy thing to do and yeah. really just elevates the burger. Let it cook the onions. Yeah, fabulous. And then we're gonna top. With the uh, these onion straws here. Okay. Yeah. Talk to us about making these. I mean, are, are these red onions that you use? Red onions and then um, just flour, deep fry it. How are you crispy. slicing these? I feel like you know how to chop an onion a lot better with than that. Oh, you have a mid slicer. Oh, well, that Yeah, helps. you got the slicer going. Yeah. Oh, this thing. is very good. And okay. then what else? What do you have on so this bun? We got shallot butter on the bun. Okay. And then just oh. top it. 
So wait, you go butter right on the bun. Yeah, yeah? that's that's just okay. So le we've all learned a valuable lesson today. Yeah. If you're not really heavily incorporating butter into your burgers, <laughs> gonna work. You are doing it wrong. They belong together. Right. Oh my gosh! And then the pretzel bun flavor, so good. Okay, I'm so gonna try this good. one that you've created for us. This is really fantastic. Wow. Oh. Those are pretty easy too. I know this is, you know, yeah. and you Those like your thin. Steps. Everything's thin, so you're getting like a little yeah. bite of everything in it all, right? Mm. You got burger in six minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice imagine, burger. imagine if you were a judge and you had to sort of decide which <laughs> burger is better. I don't know. You know. I don't even know how to choose. <laughs> I don't want to choose. I just want to have both mm. of them on a plate permanently. <laughs> Man, boy, there Ooh. is something about that pretzel bun with the uh, with the meat is Fresh so, is, so yeah. good. Mike, why don't you come back in here, buddy? Come on in. We got to give you guys big props. Yeah, this is really, this is a good... Good stuff. They, both did it, they did it differently, but they both did it great. Mm. So here's the deal. As we swallow our burgers, yeah, we hello. should tell you that the Twin Cities Burger Battle happening Saturday, May 20th from 5 until 8 p.m. So tickets are expected to sell out. I would suggest you head online now to purchase. You can find the link easily on TwinCitiesLive.com. What a fun event. We, though, are going to give away a pair right now. Text the word burger to 42379 by 9 a.m. on Monday for your chance to win. If you want an alternative way to enter, just go to the contest page of our website. And if you want to fire up the grill this weekend, you can find plenty of recipes on the Minnesota Beef Council's website, mnbeef.org. Oh. They will hook you up. And, you know, if you want to make it outside, boy, is it going to be the perfect oh, weekend to get out there.